Welcome to QLM Business News. Here are today's news stories. Starbucks CEO steps down amid sales decline and leadership shakeup. Starbucks is undergoing a significant leadership change as its chief executive, Laxman Nair Simon, departs after less than two years at the helm. The global coffee giant, which has been struggling with declining sales, announced that Brian Nickel, current head of Mexican restaurant chain Chipotle, will step in as the new CEO. The leadership transition occurs at a challenging time for Starbucks, which has been grappling with slumping sales and consumer backlash over price hikes. The company has also faced boycotts related to its stance on the Israel-Gaza conflict, further compounding its difficulties. Howard Schultz, the former CEO who transformed Starbucks into an international brand, expressed confidence in Nichols' ability to steer the company through these turbulent times. Brian is the leader Starbucks needs at this pivotal moment in its history, Schultz commented, offering his full support for the incoming CEO. The announcement of Nichols' appointment led to a more than 20% surge in Starbucks' share price, reflecting investor optimism. However, the decision to replace Noah Simon had been in the works for two months, according to Starbucks board member Melody Hobson, who spoke to the Wall Street Journal. Starbucks has been under mounting pressure from activist investors, including Elliott Investment Management, who have been pushing for strategic changes amidst reports of long wait times for orders and rising prices. Despite the challenging environment, Nickel is credited with a successful tenure at Chipotle, where he revived the brand following a series of food safety crises. His leadership saw sales double and the opening of nearly 1,000 new outlets. Nickel acknowledged the difficulty of leaving Chipotle but expressed his commitment to revitalizing Starbucks. Despite the positive market reaction, some analysts, like Sharon Zakfia from William Blair, warn that Nickel may face a more complex set of challenges at Starbucks than he did at Chipotle, given the company's larger size and the ongoing boycotts. Starbucks, which had seen a surge in sales post-pandemic, has since faced unionization efforts among its U.S. staff, damaging its reputation as a progressive employer. The company's legal battle with a union over a social media post supporting Palestinians has also placed it at the center of a global boycott movement. The leadership change is seen as a critical move to address these issues and restore Starbucks' growth trajectory. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories. Also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.